Hello, I am J Dog John Carsboom, and I'm out here with Mr. Dave. And how are you, Mr. Dave? Doing good, John. Doing good so far. First day of summer vacation, would you say? Woo! Woohoo! Okay. Uh, to Diane Marlin Hine. Hello, Diane. Diana. I'm sorry, Diana. And Rebecca Rose and Carol McDermott Buckley. And to Alex Daly out there in Portland. So, guys, welcome to the show. Hope you find it interesting. At least a little bit interesting. Uh, and at least helpful. That's the most important. Hey, we are talking about some water features. Getting some water sound into the garden. Because that just adds another dimension to your garden. And it really can... can well, it adds something to the garden. I want to go over some pointers when you're shopping for a water feature, some things to watch out for, some things that I've learned over the years and might be helpful to you. First off, some water features. I'm talking about some big guys. You don't have to be big, but the first, first tip of the day is scale. Is make, oftentimes what happens, most often is when folks look for water features, I get it over to their house and suddenly the water feature in the truck from the from the garden center in the truck to the folks' home has shrunk. So really if you take the time to measure out, maybe stick a pole on that height of the of the fountain and step back and see if it fits the scale of the area. So one big pointer on that. Now, next thing to think about, there's fountains for water sound. And there are fountains for a really a visual water. Let me show you some examples. Okay, here we go. So this one right here is a great one for a visual. Now you can, I don't know if you can even slightly hear, there's a little bit of water sound, but something you have to listen for. In an enclosed area, it can be very soothing, relaxing, because it just, it, 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 soft, soft water sound, but really heavy, heavy to the visual. Let's take a look at another type of fountain to show you what I mean. Sometimes, just sometimes, you can get a visual, uh, visual water feature with a bit of sound. You get the best of both worlds. So uh, keep an eye out of that visual and water sound. Now, sometimes if you're putting your water feature out way out far away. Um, far out, far back, you might think of visual and actually have a really small, small water feature close by for the sound. So having actually two water features. Here's what you need, by the way, for a water feature. You don't, it, it's great to have water handy, but not necessary to have the water plumbed to your water feature. And you just need an electrical outlet. So some folks will go. Uh, make it make it very fancy and you have a light switch on in the house have an electrician come out and, and, and Wire it out to the water feature some folks keep it pretty simple where you just have an extension cord You plug it in plug it out have it on a timer So it's as difficult or as easy as you choose those two things you absolutely need some things to watch out for when you are shopping for your water features and I'm a big one about water mechanics because you can find some great water features, but the water mechanics are horrendous. So watch that the flow of water coming from the pump up the fountain and back in stays within the fountain. That's really, really important. Let me show you some good, uh, some good water mechanics and some bad water mechanics. I'll show you. Okay, we're talking about some good water mechanics and some bad water mechanics. Some things to watch out for. If the basin where the pump is located is small, that is a, that is a warning sign to be, make sure that the water mechanics work really, really well. And this is what I mean, is that this flow from this point to this point is nice and even. And from this point to this point, this drop allows to, to catch all of the splash. Now what makes this one a better water feature is that these are guided. Oftentimes when the water just runs off a, a, um, a straight surface, you get a lot of splash coming out. These are a little bit more guided so it uh, keeps that water in a little bit. 
but yet it is just okay as far as the water mechanics because you can feel that water popping out of the out of the basin when that happens it's great in the garden center because we can fill it up every day but what we don't want is that you are filling it up every day so you want it to be able to, to go for weeks without having to refill so watch for a small basin and and, and bad water mechanics let me show you another one so an, an example of a bad water mechanics fountain while this is very very simple very elegant water feature the mechanics on it is horrendous so now this drop to this drop is okay you notice there's no flow it's just a straight off the edge dripper on here but take a look at from this flow to this flow right? this point to this point it's a huge drop that means the water will fall down splash and splash out this basin isn't nearly large enough to catch in all that that um, all the drip thus we end up filling it up almost every day sometimes every eight hours so it's a, it's a it's a terrible water mechanics that's why we've got it planted up so okay let's go over some other okay so now this one is kind of a mix of both and let me show you the extreme detail so hang with me on this one now it has been designed fairly well meaning that these little points right here allow that water it directs that water nicely that allows it to catch pretty much in the basin fairly well without too much splash coming out this side what is tough about it is that while the mechanics work really well at this moment it's this amount of water flow that we have to finesse so that this water equals this water coming out if we have it too high what happens is this water will come out a little bit further out to the edge and then that splash will start emptying the fountain if we have too little water this will just be dripping and we won't get that sound so by turning up the pump and turning down the pump we're going to have to finesse it now you're going to get debris into your fountain so that's going to clog up the filter it's going to lower the uh, lower the amount of water coming out so we'll, it's something that we're going to have to watch and finesse if it's not that free if that's not for you then this might not be the fountain for you but just a small detail to watch uh, when you're shopping for fountains anyway i didn't want to get too much into it i do encourage it because it just it adds so much and if you're choosing a water feature one of fount a fountain or a pot fountain i'm going to show you how to make one yourself uh, a couple of videos from now but uh, it's really low care and low maintenance so if you're looking for that water sound this might be the way to go so anyway that's the show for the day let me tell you the quote your fingers in the way mistake <laughs> okay life is not measured by the breath you take but by its breathtaking moments thank you very much Michael Vance that's the show for the day always live your Passion. You see me right out of the sunset on your color TV screen.